first day of the week, you got a clean slate. Slate. It's the first day of the month. You got a clean slate there too. It's also the first day of what we like to call Q4 as resellers. Q4 being that fourth quarter where people spend most of their money on things like leading up to Christmas. And plus, it's an excuse for them to buy stuff for themselves too, right? Q4. This is usually when most resellers have their best months of the year. Mine is typically September. It was not September this year. At least I don't think it's going to be September this year. I think it's going to be October this year, but it's Q4. It's Q4. Cabrini Day. I don't know what that is, Emily. What is that? Is that spelled right? Is that even what it is? The Bronchies won. Yeah, didn't they play the um, the other worst team in the NFL? Wasn't it a battle of uh, bad teams? Did they play the Bears to see who's going to get the, uh, the first pick in the draft? Uh, bears. Oh, I got to turn this thing on on Facebook. I keep forgetting. I'm sorry, Facebook. I just have to hit this extra button to make it public, and it is so silly. But we're going to get it done for you. Get a privacy. I want to hear about your sales this weekend. What do you have going out the door? You can tell me how many packages. You can tell me about cool sales, big profits, big flips, cool finds from the weekend if you're out hunting. I like to hear about all that stuff. I really do. We got some work to do over here. Let's see who we got in the chat. Chemo is here. You can start now. We are started. Ready to go. Ready to go. Reisner's here. Duh Bears. Those are two bad teams, the Bears and the Broncos. I'm telling you what. They're they're playing for whoever gets the um, whoever gets the first pick. Only three sales, nothing fancy. That's all right, Ruth. Roger, two sales, but posted 50 this weekend. Nice feeding that beast, Roger. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's Monday. We got five Poshmark orders, two Ebays. So that's seven. And then I also have a an order that going out from Chris at Peak.com for my friend Debbie. Thanks so much. So we're going to start first, whether you like it or not, with Poshmark. Love shipping on Poshmark. Poshmark, super easy sales. We're going to start off with an Orbis. Orbis, Orbis, Orbis. I like shipping on Poshmark. Oh, yeah. Because it's flat rate up to five pounds. Everything goes priority. I can use any of the priority packaging, including flat rate. There's an Orbis. It's a quarter zip. It's lightweight. It's like a cotton poly blend. Nice little piece there. I don't know what it sold for. Bring up the uh, sales here. So that sold for... I think that's full asking price, $20 and the buyer pays for shipping on that. I'm gonna use one of these Tyvek uh, Tyvek envelopes, not poly, Tyvek. They're free at usps.com. This is going out to Greg, thank you. Everyone gets a handwritten thank you card. Goal five whatnot shows and list 70 items. The goal for, uh, goal five whatnot, double D. Um, What's, is that a goal for October? Is that a goal for this week? What do we talk about? I like the goal. Every day I try to list at least five in the morning and five in the evening. I like that. There you go. It's 10 a day. That's 70 a week or 50 a week, depending. I think it's healthy to take the weekends off. This week. So you're going to run five whatnot shows and list 70 items. So let's go. That's a lot of work. Five whatnot shows. How many items do you put in each of those whatnot shows? I would be tired after that. That's a good week. We missed you, Trisha. We missed you. Five sales. Pull, Ralph Warren, et cetera, new with tags. Let's go, Zep one. Wayne over there crushing it. Love to hear it. I like your I like hearing about your success more than mine. Greg, Greg, Greg. So this is going out to Greg. Thank you. This is going to Louisiana. Thank you, Greg. Out the door, I paid five dollars for it. It sold on Poshmark, twenty dollars. Buyer paid for shipping on that. Next one is another twenty dollar piece. This is a brand that you probably won't hear me talk about too much. Round Tree in York. I'm not gonna be able to show you the brand. It's inside the pants, but it's a pair of corduroys. The reason I picked these up is they're corduroy. They are a really big size, size fifty by thirty two. So therefore, we're not gonna have a lot of competition in corduroy size fifty by thirty two. So um, it's less about the brand and more about the piece here. Somebody wanted a big size pair of corduroys. They're happy paying 20 bucks for them, whatever the brand is. So Roundtree in York, out the door. Let's see if it fit okay on a pad. 
just going to put these in a padded flat rate envelope. Remember with Poshmark, you can even use the, the flat rate packaging. As long as it's under five pounds, it's all flat rate. You can use any USPS packaging. There it is. Round tree going out to Ben. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate your order. I paid five dollars for these at a thrift store. I think I picked these up in Greenville, actually, if I remember correctly. So paid five, sold for twenty. Buyer pays for shipping on Poshmark. Morning, Mother Nature show. What is up? January is still my busiest month this year. That's crazy. That's crazy. I bet you you'll beat it. What do you think? In, in October or November? I bet you you beat it. Thank you, Ben. Got you some round three in your corduroys. Very on season for those right now. Corduroy is in. Big E's favorite brand. That's right. Currently seven days a week because I'm still catching up from sourcing over vacation. Nice. Hustling, hustling. Time to make money. Let's go. Um, when the sun shines, make hay, so to speak. Do you know if O S A? I don't. I don't know. I know. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is, Verizon. Found a USA Carhartt insulated jacket for five bucks. Nice. That's a good one. Uh, as possible, as possible, as they're willing to stay and buy. Have seven going out. One hundred fifty profit. I like it. Thank you, Amanda Reed, for the for the rose. Thank you. Waiting outside, Goodwill, waiting on the Jokers to open. Nice. How does Poshmark work? Do you think you lose more money on your sales there? I'm, I don't lose money on Poshmark. What do you mean, Krista? Let me know what your specific question is. I'm not sure about losing money. What do you mean? Do you cross-list what happens if something sells on multiple platforms? I, I cross-list using one shop, so it has automatic sales detection. So when something sells on Poshmark, it detects that sale and it takes it down off of eBay for me and vice versa. What is up, Brant? Good morning to you, brother. Sorry, Ryzen, I just don't know that brand. So I don't know the answer to your question. We got a Vineyard Vines going out on Poshmark. This is a brand new with tags. Sold for a best offer, $39. Brand new with tags. Size small, slim fit whale shirt. The uh, slim fit for performance whale shirt, long sleeve. So for thirty nine dollars, the smalls are a top sell in a lot of brands, including Vineyard Vines. These are going on Tyvek Mailer. These sold on Poshmark. Buyer paid for shipping. July has been my best month so far. Go figure. Well, something tells me that you probably hustled a lot in June and maybe in July, and that's why July was so good for you. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you had a lot of good summertime inventory. Vineyard Bonds. Out the door. This is going to Daniela. Thank you, Daniela, for supporting my tiny little business over here. Grateful for the opportunity to work from home out of my own house. I'm barefoot right now. Wearing the same clothes I wore yesterday. All good things in my book. Found a Dale Earnhardt Budweiser NASCAR jacket for 30 at a garage sale. Sold on eBay for $150. let us go. Was it that quick, too? Did you just, like, sort of, like, a fast flip? But that's awesome. Let's go with that, Christy. That is awesome. I love hearing about y'all's wins. I like hearing about y'all's challenges, too. I'm happy to answer questions. It's a great place to ask questions. We got 72 people here on TikTok. We got another seven people combined between YouTube and Facebook. So quick math there. What's that? 79 people. A lot of smart resellers in the house. And some people were just getting started too. They're smart also, but they're just getting started. They're soaking up knowledge. It's a great place to ask questions. Even if I don't have an answer to it, probably somebody in the house has an answer to it. If not, we can point you at least in the right direction. Thank you, Daniela. $39 on that Vineyard Vines. Brand new tags. I found that at a thrift store for five bucks. So that's a good, that wasn't even retail arbitrage. That was a thrift store fine. Five bucks sold for 39. Give me that profit. How is Kim today? She's doing good. She's up hanging with her friend right now, Chris, our neighbor, who's also our landlord. You might've met her on one of the lives. She's sometimes we'll, she'll be mowing the lawn out front and we'll talk to her. She's really fun. So it's good for Kim to be spending some time up with Chris because Chris is like super, she like wakes up 
and like I swear jumps out of bed, hits her head on the ceiling and like just ready to go with like crazy positive energy. So it's good for Kim to be hanging out with her this morning. Wow, what are your favorite keywords to use? Depends on the item curated host. I'm not sure. What do you mean? Like that last one I'd use uh, performance and plaid. It just depends on the item. Good to hear. Yeah, thank you for checking in, Amanda Reed. Is she still having a weird kind of go of things? Like last night, right? It's Sunday night. So typically people who have, you know, Monday through Friday job Sunday night, you're like, all right, I got to go back to work tomorrow. Sunday scaries. And she's like, yeah, you know, thinking about like what she has to do and like a couple of her challenging clients that she's working with right now. And she's like, oh, yeah, I don't have to work with them. Somebody else is going to have to work with them maybe this week. And then she's like, well, we got new students starting in a week. So I got to get prepared for like, you know, I'm supposed to get like 39 new students. She's like, but that's somebody else's problem right now. And then she feels bad for her teammates because her teammates are going to have all her clients and a whole bunch of new students. Um, and she's like, oh, I feel so bad for them. I'm like, that's not, they're not even letting you help. Um, you want to help, but they won't let you help. So it's not on you, Kim. Just kind of a weird situation. She still doesn't know what hit her, you know, like she's still trying to like sort out like, oh, right. I don't go to work tomorrow. I don't log in. I can't help my teammates. I can't help those those uh, couple of students that were, you know, in semi-crisis mode. I, I, I'm not even allowed to contact them. I don't even know how to. I don't have their contact information. I can't help them. But she just feels weird, right? She's like, Thursday, I had a mission that I was committed to, and I was working with people and helping them out. And now she's like, I don't, yeah, I don't have that mission. She's just sorting it out. She's still like, you know, she still feels like she got hit by a bus. Doesn't know what hit her. She's still figuring it out. I was hoping she got to sleep in and enjoy a restful morning. I mean, she slept till slept till 8.45. It's pretty good. <laughs> She's out having coffee, relaxing. I've heard that Poshmark percentage they take is high, never sold there before and trying to start. They take 20%, but that 20% just comes out of the sales price. It doesn't come out of the sales price plus tax plus, um, plus shipping cost. eBay, they take the whatever it is, 12 or 13%. They take that out of sales price plus tax plus shipping costs. So they, you know, they, they, they fee that entire amount. Poshmark just fees the sale price. So that, that vineyard vine shirt sold for 39. They're only taking that 20% of the 39 period. Whereas eBay would take 20% of the 39 plus $3 tax plus, you know, 595 shipping. They would 13% the whole thing. So in reality, eBay's fees and Poshmark's fees are a lot closer than you think. And then if you promote on eBay, like I do, which I promote everything between two and 6%, it actually comes out to be just about the, the same exact uh, rate. So to me, there's really no difference. You think there's a difference, but there's not really that much of a difference. Plus Poshmark makes it easy. You don't have to use your own shipping materials. You can use all the USPS priority stuff because everything goes priority. You don't have to weigh anything. It's super easy to ship. There's less returns. I have 2.5% return rate on eBay. I have like a 0% return rate on, on Poshmark. So when you factor that all into the whole thing, you're like, actually, it actually doesn't really cost any more money. It actually is probably a better deal to sell on Poshmark when you factor in the returns and all that mess. I sometimes just list a few dollars higher on Posh. Cool. So shipping simply makes PM so nice. I agree. I like AM too. Good morning, Mr. Thriftastic. He's, Chad is here. CAP, the real king. What? Get out of here with that stuff, Chad. We're all the kings of our own castle, just working on our own individual missions, doing what we can. My mission happens to be sharing as much as I possibly can about this business that I do over here to help you out, to help you learn brands, to help you learn little tricks and things and to de to, uh, to debug, demyth, de to, to get rid of those silly, I don't know what the word is. Get rid of those like thoughts, like Poshmark is more expensive than eBay. It's not really all that true. I think when it comes down to it, they're about the same. Wife beat my fines this weekend. Her Ralph Lauren sheep leather jacket and only paid nine bucks. Got a letter win every now and again. Don't want her to get discouraged. Chemo, just it's like playing pool when you let the wife win, right? Did I miss Kim resign from her position? She got laid off on Thursday. She went to work Thursday morning, like any old Thursday, but she had an, e an, an email, you know, an all staff email saying some people have an HR invitation on their, um, on their calendar today because we are restructuring. Kim had an HR uh, calendar invitation for 1 p.m. So she started her day just like any other day and then just ended her day with. Uh, nothing, no job, no mission, no nothing. I had 13 sales on Depop this month. 
Nice. That's probably better than any month I've had on Depop. I feel like 10 or 12 is probably my max on Depop. Love to hear that. Misconceptions, that's the word. Spreadsheet. Yep, I started on Poshmark and they make it super simple on eBay shipping was a learning process. Agreed. Yep. I think it's a shorter on-ramp. Sorry to bring it up. Just wanted to check on her. I appreciate it. Amanda Reads. Jenny was brand women's shirts. Good for resale. They're great. That's a great brand. One of the better ones. I started on eBay. So Poshmark was a nice change. Some comments were filtered. Oh my gosh. What are people upset about? Are you upset about Brooks Brothers or Roan or on Socket? Let's ship out this Roan shirt. Thanks everyone for hanging out. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Facebook and we're live on TikTok. We do this every weekday morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Live stream exactly what's going on in my tiny little business here. I got a new sign recently. Isn't that cool? And uh, yeah, it's just an opportunity to gather as a, a reseller community to share tips and tricks, um, to ask questions, to hang out. I don't know, just talk about what's going on. I love to hear about your sales and your flips and cool stuff you did over the weekend. We do this every weekday, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. And there's some loyal people who just show up every freaking day and hang out. And I appreciate it. Does the spreadsheet account for platform fees? you got to enter them in there, 929. Love the sign. Thank you. Send a positivity and hope that they call her back or she finds a position that brings her joy. She ain't going back to that place. Not after, not after that. Treat people with dignity and respect. And that, th what happened Thursday is not dignity and respect. The, the storm clouds moved in and they pulled the plug on the people that worked hard for him for five and a half years. She ain't going back. I'll, I'll promise you that right now. What is your average percentage of your sales for spending? What is your average percentage end of year sale? Average percentage end of year sales for spending? Um, I think I know what you're asking, like a, like an ROI kind of number. Um, I have to look at last year. My numbers are kind of messed up this year. Um, typically, I, I, um, my cost on my sales is like somewhere between 40 and 50%, usually around 45%. I think that's what you're asking for. Uh, Wrangler flannels have been a really good pickup lately. Sold three within 40 hours of po 48 hours of posting. Nice, nice. I love Wrangler flannels. I missed something. What happened with her? She got laid off on Thursday. Nobody puts baby in the corner. That's right. What is your average percentage? Love the sign. Thank you. Okay. I think we're caught up. If I missed any questions or comments, let me know. We're going to ship out this roan while nobody's talking. We're going to ship it out. Love all the comments. Love all the questions. Love hearing about your business. We're going to ship out this roan. This sold on Poshmark for $59. Uh, we're going to put this in a added flat rate. Added flat rate envelope. Again, free shipping supplies on all the stuff that sells on Poshmark. That helps take care of some of that 20%. It is a little bit more than eBay, but when it comes down to it, when you get the free shipping supplies and you get no returns, you're doing good. Alan's picking up this Roan. It's going to Oakhurst, New Jersey. This was actually, I'm going to show you the, um, the negotiation on this. I think it's, this is the one I'm thinking of. This is an interesting negotiation. I'm going to show you this in just one second. I'll try to show you these negotiations. Because I think people, I think a lot of people, especially as they're getting started, they're uncomfortable with negotiation. Because in our culture, the American culture, we don't really negotiate on a lot of things. We negotiate on cars. We don't really negotiate. We negotiate salaries. We don't really negotiate many other. What else do we negotiate in this culture? It's really not that much. Whereas you go into other cultures and you negotiate on everything. You negotiate on produce at the farm stand. You negotiate on like clothing at little markets and stuff. It's like everything's a negotiation. But I think a lot of people are uncomfortable with negotiation because we just don't do a heck of a lot of it in our culture. And you know what? Except for like cars and people hate buying cars for that reason. Because the only people who negotiate all the time are car salesmen. They're good at it. I negotiated with my cable provider. That's an interesting one. I hadn't thought about that. So the inventory you have, do you always come out ahead? Husband isn't pro on me starting up. I can't, I mean, do I lose money on some items? Sure. But that would be like less than 1%. I mean, it's like when I, when I buy something and I bring it home and it has a flaw that I, you know, I didn't notice in the store sometimes, but shoot, I can't remember the last time I had a loss on an item. I mean, we're probably talking about a couple items per year. So if that's the concern, I think that that's, yeah, maybe in my first couple of years, my eye wasn't as good at picking, but I mean, if sure. What if you, you sell 15 items and 
you know, one of them you lost money on the other 14, you made profit. I think, yeah, that probably come out in the wash. I think that's kind of a, I don't think that's something there's things to be concerned about as you get into this business. I don't know if that's one of them. I negotiated for, I negotiated for salary when I accepted a job offer. Yep. I think that's about it, right? We negotiate basically with cars and, and with salaries. So I think a lot of people are uncomfortable with um, negotiation because we don't do it a lot. One thing that I learned from coaching people as a career coach for 10 years is that a lot of people are uncomfortable negotiating their, their job offer. They don't know how to do it and all that stuff. And particularly women on average tend to be less comfortable negotiating their salary. And I'm not saying it should be that way or whatever. I'm just saying that's what I observed over years of doing that, that women on average tend to be less comfortable with negotiation than did men. That being said, I had men, male clients who were very uncomfortable with it too. And I had male clients that were very comfortable with it, but they weren't necessarily good at it. So we had to work on that. Thank you for your order over there on TikTok shop. We'll get that shipped out in one second. I, that'll be the next thing we do. But I want to show off before I forget, not show off, but share with you this negotiation because I think some people just um, are intimidated by it. Let's go to, let's see, offers, see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Okay. So I had this Roan. It's going to be hard to probably show on both screens at the same time. Maybe we can get it. I'm just going to go here. So I had this Roan. It's listed for $59. The person came in and offered $30. I countered offered at $59. It's a brand new tag item. It's basically 40% of retail price at $59. So I was like, come and get it. So then they offered $50. And I countered offered 59 and they accepted 59. So this is an example of like, I could have been intimidated by this person and come down on my price a little bit. A lot of people would have said, well, why don't you bid like 50 or 55? And I was like, no, because I know that the market value of this particular shirt is $59 all day. And I'm happy with waiting for somebody to come up and get it. So this person offered me half price. I don't have to budge when somebody offers me half price. I don't got to move my number just because they are offering 30. This person was willing to pay 59, but they were still trying to get the best possible deal they can. And I respect that a ton, but don't be intimidated. Don't change your number just because someone else is telling you it's 30. If you know your market value on your stuff, hold it, hold your number. And that's what I did here. And this person ultimately came up. They were just trying to get the best possible deal. I respect what they're doing, but I didn't come down one single dollar. A lot of people will slide their number down. They'll try to be like, you know what? I'm going to be nice. I'm going to let this person know that I'm coming down to meet them. And I was like, this ain't about being nice. I got a $59 shirt. That's the market value for the shirt. If you want it, come and get it. And that's what I did. Is that the right move? The right? Is that the right strategy to use on every item in my inventory? No, but it's a brand new tag Roan. It's a performance flannel. It's at the very beginning of flannel season. I got four more months to sell that thing before flannels go, you know, go by the wayside again. Plus that's, I mean, Roan is just such in demand right now. So you got to, don't be intimidated by the, uh, by the negotiation, lean into it, lean into it. I don't even do best offers, just buy it now and hold it. Yep, I hear you. I do that on a lot of my eBay listings to Mother Nature Show. Unfortunately, on Poshmark, every item is up for offers. Um, every single item. There's no way to turn off offers on Poshmark. Where do you research market value? You look up the item on eBay or Poshmark and look up how much it's been selling for over the past 90 days. So you search for that item. I can type in Roan Flannel Hardy. Hardy is the model. Roan Flannel Hardy. I sort that for new because in this case it was new with tags. And I sort it for sold. So I look, I'm looking only at what's sold over the past 90 days on eBay. And I can get a look at like, okay, cool. That's what the market value is. Of course, on a flannel too, I'm going to round up a little bit because when I'm looking at the last 90 days, that means I'm looking at September, August, and July. August and July aren't flannel months, right? Flannel prices tend to come up a little bit. Sell-through rate and average sale price will come up a little bit. So I'm also projecting for that a little bit because there's seasonality in clothing. How long do you wait to send an offer to watchers? I don't wait. I just send them whenever I get around to it. Good try on their side. Yeah, I don't blame somebody for trying to, to get the best possible price. They worked hard for their money. Worked hard for the money. So I don't I don't uh, get mad that somebody offered me 50% off. Some people get mad. I got a low ball offer. I don't care. I counted at 59. They came up to 50. I knew I had them. I counted at 59 again. Boom, I got them. 59. That's my price. You want it? Come and 
get it. Pick out vintage center swoosh Nike. Big bucks. Nice. I have so much stuff. Just want to get rid of old stock to replace it, but good stuff. Love it. What did I miss? Biggie is in the house. What's up, Biggie? I had to, I had it happen to me with Ohio State Drive Fit Nike. Nice. Do you purchase off Facebook Marketplace at all? Not usually. Um, it's, it doesn't mean it's not a bad strategy. I just don't usually do it. I negotiated it. Insurance for my vehicles and motorcycles. Nice. Random question. The brand of sweatshirt I have has a curse word in it. How do you list it? Um, I would probably, uh, for instance, um, you can use like F U uh, F C U K. You know what I mean? Just like mix up the letters a little bit. See what other people are doing. Just see what your competition is doing and match that. Do you sell on whatnot? I do. I have a show every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Everything starts at a buck. This week's show on Tuesday is going to be absolutely wild. Check out this vintage Tory Richard. That's a single stitch, single dingle, single mingle. Look at the freaking car on that thing. It's like the Mediterranean in the background. Look at the cars. They're racing around the corner. Who's going to win? I'm not sure. Everybody wins when you pick up the shirt because front and back, front and back, pristine condition, beautiful. Like this just hung up in someone's closet for years. You don't find vintage Tory Richard in this kind of condition. This one's 100% rayon. It's a size extra large. Woo, that is beautiful. That's going up tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And that is just, that is just the tip of it. <laughs> There's so much good stuff, y'all. Usually when someone sends a Lobo off or someone else comes in and pays full price, there you go, South Tejas. Thank you for the chill, chilies. I appreciate that. Oh, my God. Love the shirt. That shirt is awesome. Dang, I like it. I want to be over. I want to be wherever that is exactly. I need that. Yeah. If that shirt was my size, that shirt would not be going anywhere. 20 items listed today. 11 more to go. Mother Nature Show is cranking out listings over there. Thank you so much in for fun for the follow. We do this every weekday, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. We've done it every weekday since the beginning of November. We just hang out. We ship out orders. We drink coffee. I need more coffee. Have you ever created a brand list and sold it? I have not. But if you scroll through my Instagram, that would be a great place to go through because I post these pictures. Uh, I don't want to say every day, but four or five times a week, sometimes every day of the week. But a whole bunch of these photos, and it talks about brands. And not just the brands. Everyone wants to know the brands. But I'll only tell you a secret right now. It's not just about the brands, right? It's about what within that brand sells. This is a Wrangler right here. And I love my Wrangler Pearl Snaps. But it's beyond the brand. I don't pick up every Wrangler. This is a vintage Wrangler. It's a Western Pearl Snap, right? So this is going to be a better seller than a modern Wrangler that is button up, for instance, right? So it's about figuring out what's within the brand. That's what my Instagram is all about. You can follow me over there, Chris at Peak, on all platforms. I have a link up above. You can click on there. You can go to my website. You can find me on all the platforms. But check out Instagram. You can just scroll through and you can click on those pictures and you can learn a whole... If you spent like an hour or even a half hour just going through those pictures and reading the captions, read the captions because it's beyond the brand. It's beyond the brand. It's beyond the brand. Go through and do that. That's your list right there and it's free. Tell me a scenario where we'd list high when I have an item that's high demand, like that Roan shirt that we just sold. So it's in demand brand. It's also in season. It was a flannel. So right now it's on season um, and it has a high sell through rate, which is true with Roan. Then I would list that item high and uh, accept offers. So there you go. Do most all eBay sales go in poly mailers? When do I use the USPS priority materials? So if you're selling on eBay, you can use USPS priority email, uh, priority materials anytime that you're, you're printing out a USPS priority label, which is typically got to be when items are over one pound. You can use something like this, the Tyvek envelope. You just got to be careful because there are some ones like this. Anytime they say flat rate, see how that says padded flat rate envelope? You specifically have to print out the shipping label that says padded flat rate envelope, and you can print that out right through eBay. But if it is priority, you can use the priority stuff. If it's not, then you can just use your own little poly mailers like this, or you can use just plain brown boxes. You can use those too. And if you ship priority, you can also use your own poly mailers if you want to too. You don't have to use the priority packaging unless you print out one of those flat rate um, labels. Does eBay and Poshmark 1099 Yeah, Yes. Other types of hats, they were cool about it. Uh, I just had a big sale of a lot of 12 hats. I just sold missing... I was missing two of the hats, so I offered four of the types of hat, and they were cool with it. Nice. Nice uh, customer service right there. 
what do you think is high demand on Posh right now? A whole lot of items user, like that's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. Y'all, what are some high demand things on Posh right now? I mean, there's a lot of things. I think it's just, you gotta, yeah. I think there's some homework you gotta do. You gotta get out there and find stuff. You gotta, you gotta look on Poshmark, see what's selling. I don't, it's like a hard, it's such a broad, there's like a thousand things that are in demand, 2000, 5,000. It would be like a really long list. I don't know how to answer your question, but y'all we'll drop it. Let's crowdsource it. What are some high demand things right now on, on Poshmark? Help out user, help out user. All right, we got another Poshmark sale. It's in on Tuck it. Oh wait, I lied. Well, we do have that, but we got to do an order over on TikTok Shop. We had somebody come in on TikTok Shop and get themselves an order. Let's figure it out. Who was it? Who was it? Is this Amanda Reeds? Her name's Amanda. She can read. It's Amanda Reeds. We got a bag of peak. I can't see who it is. I just know it's Amanda G. But it doesn't tell me your actual name until I print out the shipping label. So peak. We got a medium roast ground medium ground thank you so much and a fall seasonal light roast ground cool so that's a, a peak combo pack so both our medium roast and our light roast you can get them ground whole bean or french press ground these are the two regular grinds going out to amanda thank you so much we'll get these right out to you everyone's dropping some high sell through rate stuff right now farm rio johnny was beja shoes cowboy boots Look at today's trends on Poshmark. That's a good one, Ruth. I hadn't thought about that. That's a good one. So this is roasted right here. These, this, these two bags of coffee were roasted on Thursday. It's probably the freshest coffee that you've ever had in your life. And this is free shipping on these. Free shipping on these on TikTok Shop. If you spend over $20 on TikTok Shop, it's free shipping. If it's your first order on TikTok Shop, it'll be free shipping over five, $5 and over. But... If you've already ordered something on TikTok shop, it's $20 or more free shipping. So this is going out to Amanda. They update that weekly. Cool, cool. None of my items are selling on Poshmark, but are selling on eBay and Mercari. Nice. JC, let me know a little bit, like how when you say like none of your items are selling, like how long have these items been selling and how many are been sitting and um, how many items do you have listed? I find that sometimes people have like, maybe sometimes unreasonable expectations about how fast things should be selling for them. Used clothing doesn't tend to be a super fast seller. There's just so much competition. You purchased a mailing label and printer and you purchased a mailing label and printer. Is that a statement? And you purchased a mailing label and printer. I'm not sure I get what you're putting down there. Sorry, sometimes I'm a little bit slow. This is gonna go out priority. Now I can see the person's name. This is going out. I think I think this is Amanda Reeds. This is going out to my friend Amanda. Thank you so much for your order. We got two bags of coffee, a light roast, a medium roast. It was roasted Thursday. It's fair trade. It's organic. And this is going out to Indiana. Thank you so much. I hope you love the coffee. Everyone gets a handwritten thank you note. Five years in business. Thousands and thousands and thousands of sales. Every single one gets a handwritten thank you note. That's just how I do things. It's fun. These people pay my rent. I want to show them my appreciation. They put money in my investment portfolio. They help give me startup costs for new things like the coffee. And I want to thank them. Hopefully brighten up their day a little bit with a note. If you have your own mailing label printer, I do. I have a IDPRT SP410. You can get all those numbers and digits. I have it linked in my profile. You can click on my name, click on my website, and you'll find it. It's usually um, regular price around 110 bucks, but it often has a coupon for something like 20 or $30 off, and it's Amazon on Amazon. So you'll have Amazon Prime free shipping. And just check for a coupon being on the page. I think it's the best deal going for a, a super solid, like super reliable uh, printer. There's other printers that cost a lot more money. 
Some of them cost twice as much money to do the exact same thing. You're just paying for marketing and a name brand. Get the IDPRT. It's a workhorse. I've had this for over two years. Thousands upon thousands of labels going through it, including this label right here going out to Amanda. This is going priority. So, Amanda, this was roasted Thursday. It's shipping to you on Monday. You're going to have this coffee on Wednesday. Probably the freshest, freshest coffee you've ever had in your life. If you haven't bought anything on TikTok shop, here's how you do it. You click on my name up above. And then don't go to the website. Click where it says shop, S-H-O-P. And when you go in there and you throw something in your cart, you might have a coupon for 20, 40, or 50% off and free shipping. We had a lot of orders last week where people had 50% off. So they're basically getting coffee, buy one, get one free. People were buying the coffee for cheaper than what I was paying for. So check it out. Go to my name, click on S-H-O-P shop and put something in your cart. See if you got like 50% off. Even if you don't buy something, I'd be curious. Like when you put something in the cart, what are you seeing for coupons? They change all the time. TikTok is crazy. They're really trying to push people to buy stuff on their new platform. It's good for you. It's good for me. I have 190 items and sit on Poshmark, but move on eBay and Mercari. I sell two to four items a day on both. Nice. Sounds like you're doing great over there. Um, are you using, are you doing anything to commit to the social part of Poshmark? Are you doing anything for, are you sharing? Are you following people? Are you give it, doing follow backs? Are you putting stuff into, into parties and stuff like that? Are you committed to the social part of Poshmark? K Mathis, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome aboard. I got my H A. I got my H A G E R ordered yesterday. First, Bum of Havoc. I think I missed. I think I'm missing what you're putting down. Uh, does your profit change when you promotions are run? Does your profit change when you promotions are run? Christina, tell me a little bit more about what you're asking about. I'm not sure. I sell on five different platforms, so um, let me know. You got a hanger? Gotcha. I got my hanger ordered yesterday. First TikTok shop order. Awesome. So did you get 50% off on your hanger and free shipping? That's awesome. Thanks for supporting Trisha and supporting members of this community who are working hard to bring you stuff to help you with your restream, your reselling business. I love it. When cross-listing, do you use manually or do you use an app? I use one shop. I have it linked in my profile. And by the way, I don't mind when people, if those of you who are like been in the chat for a long time and you know some answers to questions, I don't mind. I appreciate when y'all answer questions sometimes for me. Like if you know I use the IDPRT and I have a link in my bio and somebody's asking about the printer and I miss their question, I don't mind when you answer those questions. I appreciate it, in fact. Because sometimes I just miss comments. So, Amanda, thank you so much for your order. That is going out the door. The freshest coffee you probably ever had. We have a medium roast and a light roast. The light roast is a fall seasonal rotating light roast. This one is from Honduras, the fall one. And that'll be available through December 1st, and then we'll rotate to a, to a winter. It'll be the winter seasonal light roast. All right, we got an Untucket shirt, and it is pretty. Look how pretty that shirt is. Look how pretty. TikTok promotions, does it change your profit when you get coupons? Nope, great question. Um, TikTok, when they give you 50% off, they're eating that 50% off. When they're giving you free shipping, they're eating the free shipping. So I'm getting paid the same. So that's why I say TikTok shop is good for you because you might get to try the coffee for the first time and really enjoy it for half off and free shipping. So it's good for you. It's good for me because they're paying me the full price. It's good for TikTok, right? Because they're getting you comfortable buying on a brand new platform, a platform that is known for dance moves and known for China stealing our dance move secrets. I think we're still banned in Montana. Is that true? TikTok is still banned in Montana. Is that a thing? I remember that being a thing a few months ago. This on Tuck, it's going out to Robert. Thank you, Robert, for your order. Appreciate you, buddy. You're going to love this freaking shirt. Robert's going to put on this shirt. Where's Robert? Helps me understand where he is. He's in uh, Novato, California. Novato. So he's going to put on this shirt with the flowers. It's moisture wicking. He's going to go to a, um, he's got this eyeball. He's going to uh, a wedding shower. This Friday, he's gonna get this shirt Wednesday, so just in time. He's going to a wedding. What do you call it? Wedding, not a wedding shower. Yeah, he's going to a wedding shower this Friday. And he's gonna rock that shirt. People are gonna be like, bro, that is a beautiful flower on Tucket shirt, man. Where'd you get that? Get like, this weird guy. He's got a beard. He sells stuff online. I got a really great deal on this on Tucket. I paid 20 bucks. 
this untucked shirt sells like brand new for like 90, but I got it from that bearded guy for like 20 bucks. No, sir, just FS. Just free shipping. Gotcha. Cool. TikTok promotion. Does it change? Gotcha. Surf's up fines. Thank you for the heart me. I appreciate it. South Texas, she likes those. When cross listing, do you double check everything to make sure it was listed right? Um, you have to kind of go in and like hit a few switches. So, like I have to click a few buttons. So I'm looking at the every single listing when I cross list it. It's not 100% automated. It is like 75% automated. Automated. So yes, every single one. You kind of go and you click a few buttons. You can see the listing, and then it goes live. You can do free trials of those of those different cross listers too. I encourage everybody do a free trial of at least two of the cross listing apps before you commit to it. Because one you might like, one you might not like. All right, now we're switching over to eBay. We got our Brooks Brothers. This is that red fleece. And it says, this one says red fleece on it. Not all Brooks Brothers red fleece says it. Sometimes it's just that logo and it happens to be red. This line of Brooks Brothers launched in 2013. This was Brooks Brothers' attempt at appealing to a younger crowd because they've always had an older crowd, dress shirts, formal wear, that sort of thing. This was to try to... Uh, appeal to a younger crowd. They tend to be more slim fit or modern fit or athletic fit. And they tend to have like patterns that are more interesting. Like this is like a check and a stripe. It's hard to tell, but anyway, it's a red fleece. They don't sell particularly well for me. Um, this is eBay. So we're going to use a nine by 12 poly mailer for this. And we're going to print off these two eBay shipping labels right through eBay the shipping platform. Everybody gets a handwritten thank you note. Thank you, Anthony. Appreciate you supporting my tiny little business, paying our rent this month. Did I pay rent this month? I did. I paid it a few days early. Nice. Thank you for paying rent. We're flipping over to eBay. A couple eBay sales. Brooks Brothers Red Fleece. This sold for a best offer, $18 plus $5.95 shipping. Not getting rich off this thing. It's going to ship UPS Ground Advantage. Ground advantage. We got quiet over in the chat. If everyone could do, do me a favor, if you're hanging out, if you haven't hit, hit the uh, the like button over on YouTube or Facebook, that helps me out. If you haven't said hello, like introduce yourself, show yourself down below in the chat. And if you're here on TikTok, if you could just tap the screen like 10 or 15 times, that just sends likes. Let tic, let's TikTok know that you're having a good time. TikTok will invite more people into the conversation. If you just hit, just tap the screen. Thank you so much, Flip for Adventure. He's in the house. He's brought some gifts. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I want to know what is the weather like in your neck of the woods? I want to know the low and the high. Today, it is currently 66 in Asheville, North Carolina. We have a low of 51, beautiful, and a high of 78. Just like this weekend, like cool starts and then like middle of the day for like two hours, especially in the sun, it is hot, like summertime hot uh, for a couple hours. If you're sitting in the sun, the sun will get you this time of year and then it will cool off and we'll have a cool evening sitting on the back deck. What's going on in your neck of the woods? What's the weather like? I love fall. Can you talk about your tracking spreadsheet you have for a sale? Yep, Shauna, I use something called the, the reseller spreadsheet. It's from my friend Jason Hayes, who's actually my sensei. Thanks, everyone, for tapping the screen. I see you hitting tap and tap and tap, and I appreciate that. And uh, it's linked up in my profile if you want to check it out, the reseller spreadsheet. And uh, don't take my word for it on it being a good product. Um, go check it out. Jason's got some YouTube videos that walk you through everything the spreadsheet does do and doesn't do. I could walk you through all that stuff, but Jason's way more articulate about his own sheet than I am. Um He's a good looking guy too. He's got a beautiful head of hair, a beautiful beard. I think you're going to like Jason. He's also selling it right now for 10% off. And I have another 10% off uh, discount code or coupon code. It's uh, thanks Chris 10. You'll find that also in the links up above, or if you go to Chris at um, So I think right now it's 10% off and then another 10% off. So about 20% off is what you're going to be getting on that spreadsheet right now. Um, I'm a big fan, big, big, big fan. Let's get this shipping label should print it out. USPS ground advantage. It's a Brooks Brothers. It's a red fleece. It sold for 18 bucks plus $5.95 shipping. I paid five bucks at a thrift store. The red fleece are not my favorite pickups, but I do pick up some of them if they have a nice pattern, particularly in the bigger sizes. So this label is going to cost me $4.81. Thank you everybody for tapping that screen. I appreciate that. I see that likes number went jumped up really fast and that helps me out. I appreciate it. If 
you're new to the stream, we go live every weekday morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. A whole bunch of resellers in the house. I buy stuff for cheap. I resell it online for a profit. I also have a coffee business that I launched in April. I have a light roast and a medium roast. It's roasted fresh every Thursday right here in Black Mountain, North Carolina by my friends at Dynamite Roasting Company. They've been voted Western North Carolina's number one coffee roaster 11 years in a row. And it's legit. It's from WNC Magazine. And uh, 11 years in a row, including this year. They just got that award for this year back in August. They are good people. They know their coffee. And this coffee is all single origin coffee. It's fair trade and it's organic. It is legit, legit. I'm not just selling coffee. I'm selling coffee. Chicago weather's 58 low, 84 high. Well, still warm up there. Check out the question. What's Peaks Q4 goals, coffee, whatnot, listings? I don't have a clear answer for you. I'm all over the place right now, surfs up. I don't have a clear answer for you. Sorry. Life comes at you fast. Kim got laid off on Thursday. We're reevaluating, brother. We're reevaluating. We're taking a step back. We're thinking about like what's most important right now. Sold Kurt Geiger sandals after an hour of listing. Never heard of, but knew they were money. Nice. I don't know that brand. Never even heard of it. Never heard of Kurt Geiger, but nice find it sounds like. Upstate New York, 75, 56, 69 degrees in Indian Trail, North Carolina. Nice. That spreadsheet is awesome. Thanks so much. It's supposed to be 86 today in Indiana. Nice and warm. Savannah, 81. 88 for Vanessa, out in Oklahoma. 52 in Overcast. 80 degrees up in... I didn't know it got that warm in Canada, America's hat. I didn't know that. Three pounds party box to Michigan from New Jersey. A 720 ground advantage is 807. Go figure. Kind of strange. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that about... What was it about two months ago or three months ago when the postal service announced the change to ground advantage at that same time, they lowered a whole bunch of priority rates, especially if they're, if the item is not going far. So New Jersey to Michigan is only going over one zone. Um, so you'll find that a lot of those USPS priority rates went down. It's probably a dollar 50 cheaper than what it was three months ago. Not a lot of people realize that. So a lot of people reflexively ship, Things that are over one pound, like jeans, they ref and I used to do the same thing, reflexively just ship them all in a padded flat rate. The reality is, is a lot of times that items that I'm shipping between one and two pounds, the regular priority rate is cheaper by a really good margin. It's oftentimes $7.20 or $7.05 if it's just going within my own zone or going one zone over, which saves over a dollar on every shipment from these. So maybe you didn't know, maybe you already knew that, but you can save yourself like over a dollar if it's not going far. Now, if it's going to Canada, if it's going from Asheville, North Carolina, clear across the country to California, probably the padded flat rate is good. Every time the padded flat rate is going to be cheaper. If it's going to Oregon, if it's going to Washington, if it's going to Colorado, padded flat rate is going to be cheaper. But if it's going to South Carolina, Florida, Indiana, New Jersey, Maine, it's probably going to be cheaper if I ship it in regular priority if it's a pair of jeans. Not a lot of people know that. But now you do. And further south than 40 million Americans, banana belt due to Great Lakes. I think you're making stuff up, Tina. I think you're making stuff up. You're in America's hat. I weigh everything in check before labeling, buying, and printing. It's easy. Nice. Yes, it is. It just takes a couple of seconds to check that rate. And after a little while, you'll realize it. You'll say like, oh, this is going to South Carolina. There's no way a padded flat rate is going to be cheaper than the regular priority. Regular priority would be 705. And you'll start to know that start to know that. I never find that flat rate is cheaper. Am I missing something or where do I see it? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. If you're looking at the padded flat rate envelope, if you're shipping, I don't know where you live, but say you were in Asheville, North Carolina, and you were shipping to California, that padded flat rate on a pair of jeans is going to be cheaper than regular priority every single time and twice on Sunday. But if it's closer, it's going to be cheaper regular priority. Morning, Sister Stephanie's over in the chat. What is up? How are things out there in Arizona? What is your favorite place Favorite place to visit in, in Colorado? I love Telluride. I freaking love Telluride. We were there uh, back in June. I love that place. I can't get enough Telluride. Picked a four-low down jacket vest made in the USA this week. I've never heard of it before. Maybe new and up and coming brand to look for. Yeah, never heard of it either. Four-low, four-low, four-low. All right, we're all shipped out on eBay and Poshmark. Oh, no, we're out. Where's my Twillery shirt go? Oh, here it is. We got one more eBay. Twillery. Great brand to look for. I'm going to show you the logo. Twillery. I never find this brand. Ever, ever, ever. Nice white dress shirt here. I think this is like a size medium. Yep, 15 and a half, 32, 33, which is about a size medium. 
dress shirts. Solid white sold for $25 plus shipping on eBay. I paid five bucks for it at the thrift store. This I picked it up about a month ago. It took about 30 days to sell. Asheville is our top place to visit. Nice. Yeah, it's everybody's top place to visit in October. The entire country is here in Asheville for October for uh, fall foliage and cool weather and hiking and beer and good food and good music. All right, what do we got? This is going... First class or ground advantage, just say ground advantage. It's going to Los Angeles, California. It's going to John. Thank you, John. John just got himself a new job. He's excited about it. He's got himself a new white dress shirt. A new white dress shirt. Congrats on your new job, John. This is going to go out at a 12 ounce rate. And it's going in a US or it's going in a poly mailer, a 12 by nine poly mailer. It's going to be five dollars and thirty three cents to ship this from Asheville, North Carolina, clear across the country to Los Angeles, California. John got a new job. What did you do this weekend? Uh, let's see. Saturday, we went to. A place, oh, was that Friday? That was Friday. Friday, we went to Mills River Brewing. We got ourselves dinner and a pop over there. That place is just awesome because of the setting on like a nice, cool evening. We're sitting out back. You're basically like in the woods out back. They have like tons of picnic tables. There was a good vibe there. There was a live band playing. They had a mobile, um, you know, the axe throwing. They had someone, I've never seen this before. They had a mobile axe throwing. Mobile axe throwing. I can show you a picture of it. I took a picture. I've never seen this before. I didn't play. I'm 100% convinced that I would kill myself or somebody else if I tried axe throwing. I will not do it. Here's the photo. I swear I took a photo. Did I take... Here it is. <laughs> so he's got this little setup. He backs up the little trailer. And it's got the axe throwing set up right on there. That's the guy that works there with the kilt and the sleeveless shirt and the axe. Look at that. Mobile axe throwing. I describe that as a, a mobile lawsuit. A lawsuit on wheels. How People looked like they were having fun. But isn't that crazy? I've never seen that before. I've obviously seen the axe throwing places. I feel like every town in America has one right now. It's kind of like those uh, escape rooms. I feel like every town has those things. But mobile? Ain't that crazy? Have you ever seen that before? Y'all be visiting Nick's, Nick next month and the rest of the winter. You will not see me in Arizona this winter. I promise you that. Travis George is in the house. Interesting. Axe growing is really fun. All right. That twirlies is out the door. All right. We got one more item to ship. Uh, we got an item over at chrisatpeak.com. I appreciate this order. I appreciate all orders so much. But we got a bag of coffee and a thrifting is my cardio t-shirt going out the door to Debbie. Thank you so much, Debbie. I appreciate your order. Let's get this out for you. So medium roast ground. Thank you. The OG, the medium roast. This was roasted on Thursday. It's going to ship out today. It's got to go up priority. You're going to get this Wednesday. So less than a week old coffee. You cannot beat that, y'all. So we got a thrifting is my cardio t-shirt going out to Debbie too. Thank you so much for this order over at chrishatpeak.com. You can get yourself some fresh coffee and some rad merch at chrishatpeak.com. Click the link down below or click on my name up above on TikTok. Debbie, we'll get you a handwritten thank you card. Thank you so much. Appreciate you supporting my tiny little business. Look who it is. It's hip flipping mama. She's the hippest. She is the flippest. It is Kelly, hip flipping mama. Good morning. Now we're probably catching Kelly before bed. Kelly is nocturnal, like a cat. got some delicious coffee and a thrifting is my cardio t-shirt going out to debbie we also have thrifting is my cardio bags if you haven't seen these 
13 gallon big haul bag, shopping bags. Fill it up, go to the thrift store, get weird. You can fit over 30 items in that bag. Great for bringing your packages to the post office if you do that sort of thing. Great for going to garage sales, filling that thing up with fines. Hip flip and mom is just getting up. My schedule is different since my hubby's here. Gotcha. Do you like the new schedule? Are you adjusted? Beer and axe throwing at the same location? No, no I don't. I don't understand the axe throwing thing. I feel like I'm going to kill somebody. I won't do it. I refuse. Just ordered some coffee. And what are those huge bags? Thank you, Shauna. We'll get your order straight out. That is so sweet. One of them huge bags. I'll show you how big it is in a second. That's a weird thing to say. But I said it. Look how big it is, y'all. I'm going to show you. Boom. 13 gallons of fun. It can hold up to 33 pounds. On TikTok shop. I have them listed for twenty dollars, and the only reason they're nineteen dollars on my website, but I have them listed for twenty on TikTok Shop because that qualifies you for free shipping on orders of twenty dollars or more. So that's why it's priced up one extra dollar because it'll save you money because then you get the free shipping. This is going out to Debbie. Thank you so much. I've got a cardio pack. Debbie's gonna drink some coffee. That's got to get her going. She's got to throw on her thrifting is my cardio t-shirt. She's got to head out to the thrift store. She's got to get her steps in, get her cardio in. Thank you so much, Debbie. You don't have to do it the way that I just laid it out. You do whatever you want. I hope you enjoy the coffee. I, I bet you you're going to right away get some nice compliments on your uh, on your thrifting is my cardio t-shirt. A lot of compliments on that shirt. Debbie, you got a shipping confirmation in your inbox. Appreciate your order. 30 items and less your Wayne. Just ordered some coffee in one of those huge bags. I'm super excited. Thanks for sharing all your knowledge. I appreciate you, Sean. It's great. You can pretend it's that person. It's great. You can pretend it's that person. You can pretend it's that person. I usually sing it when I don't know what you mean. Good morning, Aaron. What's up? Did my order go out yet? You just put in an order, hit flipping mama. I put in an order. I put out an order for you last week. Yes, I put out an order for you last week. Unless you're talking about another order. Hit flipping mama. Your order went out like Thursday, maybe Friday. Thursday sounds about right. How were sales this weekend? For me, a little bit slower, a little pullback from last week. But I sold some good items, some good profit items. But units i sold five on posh and two on ebay two on ebay is kind of like the perplexing thing i also listed 22 items on friday one of those 22 items sold over the weekend one of the fresh listings a little bit of a pullback from last week how are how are sales for you aaron i'm curious for axe throwing low okay gotcha let me go read this again now that i know what we're talking about it's great you can pretend it's that person oh my gosh you've mistaken me for somebody who's more angry and evil my gosh, my gosh. All right, so let's go. And if you're at chrisatpeak.com, you're gonna see something, it's a pre-order for a sweatshirt. That's a mock-up of the sweatshirt. That's not the actual sweatshirt. So we've got a bunch of orders for that already. Anybody who pre-orders a sweatshirt, I'm going to narrow it down. I'm going to have two sweatshirt designs for you. It's going to be entrepreneur focus. It's going to be, the message is going to be to, just to support the idea of like starting your own business. Um, it's hopefully going to be a little bit of a, like a like a little poke in the shoulder towards like these people who run corporations and stuff like that. But it's going to be an entrepreneurial minded like anybody who owns their own business um, or has their own side hustle. That's what this sweatshirt is going to be all about. So I'm going to get it down to like two final designs. I'm going to get those designs worked on this week by my design guy, Alan. And I'm going to let the, all the pre-orders, I'm going to shoot an email over to the pre-orders. And I'm going to let you vote on which you think is the better of the two designs. So that's the benefit of getting in on that pre-order. I also totally estimated the price. I don't even have a quote yet on what they will cost. So I just totally estimated the price. So my guess is that maybe the pre-orders will have a lower price than what they will be after. We'll see. Cause I do want it to be a nice high quality shirt. I did ask for a quote over the weekend, but my screen printing shop was not open on Fridays. 
And my contact over there is on maternity leave. An account manager has received your message and will be in touch shortly. Oh, that's cool. Did you pick a slogan? No. Uh, yeah. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Hi, pal. What's up, Dusty? You make my mornings at my desk job go by so fast. Enjoy listening to your lives. Thanks so much. I appreciate you saying that, Dolores. Hope you're having a good day at work. I need more coffee. Foxes are roaming the streets at night looking for food. Just ordered five eBay. Just packaged five eBay orders for a total of 145 plus shipping. Nice, Zep one. Mother, that's too bad. They are majestic and huge. We don't get any of them here, Kelly. What is going on over here? I love Maine Coons. He's grown out of the angry teenage thing, right, bro? Oh, cool. Can't wait for my T-shirt. Did my order go out? Hit flipping mama. Your order is on the way. Appreciate you. Hope you had a great weekend. I did. Good morning. Join late. How are you? I'm good, Delka. Appreciate you asking. How are you? Had sale Saturday night. I just got when. When will this be shipped? Trying to be polite with my response. I don't even respond to that kind of stuff you know, if it's unreasonable. It's the weekend. They're going to get the shipping confirmation when it ships on Monday morning. That's what they'll get. I got one of those too this weekend, actually. Now that I met, now that you mentioned it, I got a Poshmark one. Let me think what it was. It was an order that came in last night, and the person then immediately sent me a message and says, "When I think it was, when will this be shipped? I didn't respond. They'll, do, they'll get a shipping confirmation when it, when it goes out the door. That'll answer their question. You're not going to get Sunday night customer service. All right. We got an order going out to the V. The Husky Mama, thank you so much for your order over there on TikTok Shop. What do we got for a deal here? Free shipping on this order on TikTok Shop. We got a bag of medium roast ground coffee, roasted fresh. It was literally roasted this past Thursday. And this is going to go up priority. So you're going to get this on Wednesday. So less than a week old. And it was roasted by my friends here in Black Mountain, North Carolina, by my friends, Dynamite Roasting Company, Western North Carolina's. Best coffee roaster 11 years in a row, including this year. They've only been in business 15 years, and they've won best coffee roaster in Western North Carolina 11 years in a row. This is legit the fake coffee. This medium roast is coming at you. It was grown in Chiapas, Mexico by a small cooperative of farms in the highlands. Chiapas is the southernmost state of Mexico. So the best coffee is grown at high altitude, humid places in the tropics. This coffee is delicious. And we got a fifth thing is my cardio bag going out. Thank you so much. Look how big this thing is. 13 gallons of fun right here. You can, last time we loaded this up on a live, I put 31 mixed items in there. Jeans, sweaters, flannels, t-shirts button down shirts, all the stuff. We fit 31 items in the thing. I've heard people fit a lot more. If it was just t-shirts, probably fit 50 or so in there. It is a no joke bag. All right, let's see, we're gonna do this. Morning, Thrifty Duckies. So that coffee was roasted the same day as Jane, that's right. We didn't roast Jane, we just asked Jane. Common sense questions. Jane, you're telling me that I should get a real job, huh? that I should dream of going back to the office, work for someone else who could, by the way, isn't it interesting? You know, my wife just got laid off on Thursday. She just had a job, right? Shut up, Kim, just get a job. Don't, do, don't have your own business. Don't get your own sign. Don't chase your dream. Chase your dream of going to work. You know, I respect anybody who you have a a real job i think that's great but why would i want to chase that dream i got my own i work out of the house i'm barefoot right now i hang out with my friends on live while i work imagine doing this at a day job jane told me i should dream of going back to work 
get you a real job, Peak. Take down that stupid sign. Get rid of that dumb merch. Stop selling coffee. Go to the office. Commute. Get stuck in traffic every day, Chris. That'll be fun. Jane, maybe she was right. Maybe she was right. But this is fun. So we got Thrifting is my cardio, a medium ground coffee going out. Thank you so much. This was roasted Thursday. It's shipping today. It's going priority. It's going to get to you on Wednesday. Yeah, I don't see how people want to make people uh, that if they do that, that's great. I respect whatever people want to do. I would never tell anybody what the heck to do. If you love your day job, I'm not going to tell you to quit and, you know, get a start your own business. A lot of people have great jobs. They don't want to quit. I would never tell you to do that. It's none of my dang business. If you don't pay my bills, I don't pay your bills. So therefore, I can't have any input on that. Shauna, thank you so much for your order. I really do appreciate it. This is going to Illinois. You're going to have this coffee in that haul bag. So it's going to be perfect. You're going to drink that coffee. You are going to get ready to go, energized. You're going to go and fill up that bag with some goodies make you some money fill it up with profit i'm barefoot in swim trunks at my w2 job see people have good jobs out there and i respect it i know nick could do great if he was full-time if he wanted to but he's got an awesome job they take care of him they leave him alone he works from home he's got the cleanest office you've ever seen over there he's probably in the pool answering emails right now i don't see how people want to make people i already read that one thank you shauna i really do appreciate it i hope you enjoy the coffee and uh that coffee, the tasting notes, by the way, mild spice, just a very, very hint of like mild spice and milk chocolate. You're going to definitely get that milk chocolate flavor. And this is not flavored coffee. But that's just a natural flavors from the beans and from the roast. And you'll get that milk chocolate flavor. That's the medium roast. But Jane loves telling people what they want to do. Exactly. Jane knows everything about me. She popped into the live for four seconds. She said something stupid, which she immediately regretted. And she knows everything about me. She knows all about my motivations. I've had a ton of real jobs, by the way. I've had some really cool real jobs. And if I wanted to go back to those really cool real jobs, I could do that. I could do that. In fact, they had my, my position open at UNC Asheville just recently. I could have applied for that job. And you know what? I, I mean, who knows? I don't know who else applied for it, but I probably could have got it if I wanted to. I did that job before four and a half years. My same boss is still over there, Lisa. Um, she knows... My work ethic, she knows what I'm capable of. I'd be pretty competitive for that job over there if I wanted to go get it back. Guess what? I didn't, I don't want to do that. It's a great job, but I don't want it back. I got my thing. It's delicious. I hope I can make a little story for each order. I try to. Maybe Jane could find you one. Maybe Jane can help me find a job. As a career coach with a wide network of people in the career coaching business and like the just like the career development world and like hiring managers and all that stuff. I have a feeling that Jane's not going to be more helpful than a lot of other people in my network at helping me find a job if I needed to find one, if I wanted to find one. Good morning from North Wilkesboro. What's up? I haven't been to Wilkesboro in quite some time, but you're not too far away from me. I'm here in Fletcher, North Carolina. Love hanging out with my, my Carolina peeps and all of you, but it's fun when people are nearby. Oh, I didn't even drink coffee, grabbed it from a hobby. I'll let them know. Nice, Jonah. I hope he enjoys it. Those are subtle tasting notes. Again, it's not flavored coffee. It's not flavored coffee, but I think you'll taste that milk chocolate for sure. And you got free shipping on that TikTok shop order. I love it. Let's go back to orders here. Why do people not under? Why do people not understand everything is not for everyone? We are all individuals. I love being around interesting people that do different things. I agree, H Town Gems. I agree. I never thought I'd say this, H-Town Gems, but you are 100% right. It's cool whatever people do. People are into different things, and that's cool. All right, I got to check one more thing. I think we're all shipped out, y'all. So I'll have updates on the... Um, the, the new hoodie merch I'll have I'll share updates with you as I have them but I don't even have a quote back yet from the from the screen printer they are closed on Fridays and this whole idea started Friday morning so I got an email to them over the weekend and we will see when I get back from them and I got to get in touch with my designer who was on vacation last week 
and get some stuff rolling. Free shipping equals basically made money. Yeah, girl math. I love it. I love it. All right, y'all. I'm going to sign off for the day. I appreciate everybody for supporting this tiny little business. I hope you have an awesome day. I hope your sales keep rolling in. It is officially Q4, the first weekday of Q4. This is the time where the re- you're not every day isn't going to be awesome and every week isn't going to be awesome, but you're going to have more awesome days than bad days now. And you're going to have more awesome weeks than, than bad weeks now. That's just the way it works. Sales are still always going to be up or down. That's just the nature of the retail business or any business for that matter. But uh, I think you're going to have more good days than bad. It is Q4. So wishing you a good day of sales. If you're out and about hustling, finding things, I hope you find some good stuff. And boy, if you've got a death pile over there, you get a whole bunch of money sitting over in the corner. Maybe it's time to get that stuff listed, especially if you got wintertime items, things like corduroys and jeans and sweaters and jackets, uh, button down shirts and flannels, all that stuff. Get that stuff listed, y'all. Fleeces, quarter zips, that kind of stuff. Get them listed. Get them listed because now is the time for that stuff to sell. Let's go. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow at 930 a.m. Eastern time. We'll be live again on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Tickety Talk. And don't forget, if you haven't followed me over on Whatnot, if you haven't bookmarked the show, I have a link in my profile. If you haven't joined Whatnot, $15 off. Look at this shirt. That's one of I already got 50 items preloaded for tomorrow's show. We're also going to do a live thrift and put the uh, finishing touches on that show. We'll probably have about 60 auctions tomorrow. That's going to be one of them. Vintage Tory Richard. That's a size extra large. Ridiculous piece. We'll see you tomorrow, 930 a.m. Eastern time. Appreciate y'all. Peace.